I'm starting this week's study from the book titled Following Jesus Chapter 4, The Holy Spirit Part 4. Let's begin with a prayer. A prayer to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Loving Father, your word promises us that when we ask of the Holy Spirit, you will give him to us. I pray for a fresh stirring and infilling of the Holy Spirit. I will not be drunk with wine but desire to be continually filled by the Holy Spirit. Rekindle the fire of your love in me, Father. Lord, help me to be open to listen and follow the Holy Spirit where he guides me. Let the Holy Spirit continue building me to the fullness of Christ. I ask this in Jesus' name Amen. Being filled with the Holy Spirit. When they arrived, they prayed for the new believers there that they might receive the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit had not yet come on any of them, they had simply been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John placed their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Acts 8 verses 15-17 Being filled with the Holy Spirit as a young teenager became the game-changer in my ability to know and follow Jesus. In most biblical accounts, believers received the Holy Spirit when someone laid hands on them. There were also reports of people getting filled as they simply heard God's words spoken. If you want all that God has for you and are ready to receive the Holy Spirit that He provides for us, Connect with your pastor or another mature spirit-filled follower of Jesus and ask them to pray with you to be filled. You may also simply open up your heart and ask God to fill you with His Spirit. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who asked Him? Luke 11 verse 13. Chapter 4, Being Filled with the Holy Spirit, Embracing Wholeness. To be filled with the Holy Spirit is to invite its presence to permeate every facet of our being. This section delves into the process of opening ourselves to the Spirit's transformative work, allowing it to heal, renew, and sanctify us. By surrendering our innermost selves, we cultivate a deeper connection to God and experience a profound sense of spiritual completeness. We have explored practices that facilitate this filling, such as prayer, worship, and contemplation in Chapter 1. The concept of being filled with the Holy Spirit is central to both the Old and New Testaments. Here are some examples. Old Testament. 1. Bezalel, God chose Bezalel to craft the items for the tabernacle. He was filled with the Holy Spirit to enable him with wisdom, understanding, and craftsmanship skills. Circumstance, the Israelites were in the wilderness, and God instructed Moses to build the tabernacle. Exodus 31 verse 3, And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. 2. Prophets Throughout the Old Testament, prophets were often filled with the Spirit to deliver messages from God to the people. Circumstance, Israel had gone astray, and God sent prophets to correct, warn, or encourage them. Micah 3 verse 8, But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of justice and might to declare to Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. 3. Saul When Saul was anointed to be king over Israel, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. Circumstance, Israel demanded a king, and God chose Saul. After Samuel anointed him, Saul prophesied and was changed. 1 Samuel 10 verses 6 and 10 Then the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you mightily, and you shall prophesy with them and be changed into another man. When they came to the hill there, Behold, a group of prophets met him, and the Spirit of God came upon him mightily, so that he prophesied among them. New Testament. 1. Jesus After his baptism, Jesus was filled and led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan. Circumstance At the beginning of his ministry, Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist and then tested in the wilderness. Luke 4 verse 1 Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. 2. Apostles On the day of Pentecost the disciples received the Holy Spirit in a dramatic fashion, enabling them to proclaim the gospel in various languages. Circumstance After Jesus' ascension, the disciples were waiting in Jerusalem for the promised Holy Spirit. Acts 2 verse 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. 3. Stephen He was known for being full of the Spirit, and as he faced martyrdom, he saw a vision of Jesus. Circumstance Stephen was brought before the Sanhedrin on charges of blasphemy. As he gave his defense, he was filled with the Spirit. Acts 7 verse 55 But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, 
gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. 4. Paul After his encounter with Jesus on the Damascus Road, Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit when Ananias laid hands on him. Circumstance, Paul, then Saul, was traveling to Damascus to persecute Christians. After being blinded by a vision of Jesus, he was healed and filled with the Spirit by Ananias. Acts 9 verse 17 And Ananias went his way and entered the house, and laying his hands on him he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you came, has sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Opening ourselves to the Spirit's transformative work is a profound, lifelong journey. Reflecting on the biblical examples provided earlier can offer insights into how to be more receptive to the Holy Spirit's sanctifying presence. Here's a guide based on those examples. 1. Seeking God with intention. Bezalel was specifically chosen because of his heart for God. In our lives, intentionally seeking God through prayer, worship, and reading the scriptures can make us more receptive to the Spirit's work. Practical steps, set aside regular time for spiritual disciplines. Whether it's daily prayer, scripture study, or worship, these practices can help attune our hearts to God. 2. Obedience to God's Word. Old Testament prophets like Micah were obedient to God's call, even when the message was challenging. Obedience to God, especially in difficult situations, opens us to deeper transformation. Practical steps, in times of moral or ethical challenges, choose to align with biblical teachings. When unsure, seek counsel from trusted spiritual mentors. 3. Humble acceptance of God's will. Saul initially accepted God's will for his life with humility, and it led to him being filled with the Spirit. Though he later faltered, his initial response teaches the importance of humility. Practical steps, regularly submit your plans and desires to God in prayer, asking for His will to be done in your life. 4. Engaging in Christian Community Jesus frequently engaged in fellowship with His disciples. The disciples were together on the day of Pentecost when the Spirit was poured out. Engaging in Christian community can be a conduit for the Spirit's work. Practical steps, regularly participate in church services, Bible study groups, and other Christian fellowships. 5. Embracing trials with faith. Stephen, when facing martyrdom, was filled with the Spirit. Trials, when faced with faith, can be moments of profound spiritual growth. Practical steps, in challenging times, instead of asking why me, ask what can I learn? Seek God's presence and perspective during hardships. 6. Repentance and Transformation. Paul's dramatic conversion came after sincere repentance and a radical openness to change. To experience deep transformation, we must acknowledge our sins and allow God to change our direction. Practical steps, regularly practice self-examination and repentance. When you recognize areas of sin or weakness, bring them before God in prayer, asking for forgiveness and transformation. 7. Invitation and Expectation. Always be open to the unexpected ways the Spirit might move. Like Ananias laying hands on Paul, sometimes the Spirit's work comes through others in ways we might not anticipate. Practical Steps, Pray with Expectation, Asking the Holy Spirit to fill, guide, and transform you. Be open to God working through others to bless and sanctify you. 8. Consistent Surrender. Daily surrender to God allows the Spirit to continuously work in our lives. Like clay in the potter's hands, yielding to God's touch allows Him to mold and shape us. Practical steps, daily offer yourself to God, surrendering your will, desires, and plans to Him. Remember, the Holy Spirit's transformative work is a grace from God. While our efforts can help open us to this work, it's ultimately God's loving initiative that heals, renews, and sanctifies. The role of the believer is to remain receptive, obedient, and responsive to this divine action. Surrendering our innermost selves to God and cultivating a deeper connection with Him is a personal and intimate journey, and the previously referenced biblical examples provide significant insights. Here's a guide to deepen this connection and experience spiritual completeness. 1. Deliberate Seeking As Bezalel was endowed with the Spirit for craftsmanship, we too can seek God's filling for our unique roles and purposes. This begins with a deliberate act of seeking God with all our heart. Action, dedicate time daily for spiritual disciplines like meditation, prayer, and reading scripture to foster a deeper relationship with God. 2. Obeying God's Call. 
prophets obeyed and proclaimed God's messages despite challenges. Our obedience can manifest in heeding God's call in our lives and walking in His statutes. Action, strive to live a life that aligns with biblical teachings. When faced with ethical dilemmas, opt for choices that mirror Christ's teachings and life. 3. Embracing Humility Saul's initial humility allowed him to be filled with the Spirit. Recognize that God is the source of all wisdom and strength. Action, practice humility by acknowledging your limitations and depending on God in all situations. This could involve seeking His guidance before making decisions or acknowledging Him for successes and breakthroughs. 4. Community and Fellowship The disciples experienced the outpouring of the Spirit when they were together. Being in Christian fellowship can foster spiritual growth and deepen our connection with God. Action, engage actively in a local church or fellowship group. Share your spiritual journey with others and learn from their experiences. 5. Facing Adversities with Faith Stephen's spirit-filled response in the face of martyrdom underscores that adversity, when faced with faith, can deepen our connection with God. Action, in trials, seek God's presence fervently. Use hardships as opportunities to lean into God, trusting in His sovereignty and goodness. 6. Openness to Transformation Paul's conversion involved a complete transformation. Like Paul, being open to God's transformative power allows for profound spiritual renewal. Action, regularly evaluate your spiritual journey, acknowledging areas that need transformation. Pray for God to highlight and change areas in your life that don't align with His will. 7. Consistent Surrender To experience the Spirit's fullness, surrender your desires, ambitions, and plans to God, much like clay in the hands of a potter. Action, daily, in prayer, offer yourself wholly to God. This can involve a simple morning prayer where you ask God to lead your day and guide your actions. 8. Cultivate Expectation Approach God with an expectant heart, believing that He desires to fill and transform you. Action, as you pray, do so with anticipation, expecting God to speak, guide, and move in your life. Be attentive to His leading throughout the day. In essence, surrendering our innermost selves and cultivating a deeper connection with God involves a mix of intentional actions and a heart posture of humility, obedience, and expectation. By integrating these principles and actions into our daily lives, we can move closer to experiencing profound spiritual completeness. Remember, it's a journey, and each day presents an opportunity to grow deeper in relationship with God. Music